I don't think he knows I'm filming him. What? Oh, nothing. Belt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we ready? Yeah, I'm filming now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, what I'm going to do today is show you my take on layering blueberries. Um, we got a couple of blueberry dewies here that are, um, they can't stay here because we got day lilies. We're going to have a border here, right? And uh, the day lilies will, uh, I hope, uh -huh, that doesn't look good, that rust. But anyway, I've been using uh, milk cartons for propagating uh, for propagating um, strawberries, the bottoms, you know, with the runners, and uh, I'll, I'll show you those in a minute. And I was wondering what I could use for the, you know, the tops, because they got the hole in it, right? I'm going to show that, right? They got the hole in it, and, you know, the milk containers or whatever. So, I want to propagate some blueberries here. So, what I'm going to do, uh, this is called the layering method, for those who don't know. And uh, what I'm doing is scraping the bark off the underside of this. Okay, that's where the roots are going to form. Alright. Now, I'm going to feed this through the hole. Okay, now I've got some good compost here. Now this compost is actually from the forest floor. Anyway, uh, I should have, uh, and I'll do another one. I'll do this one here. No, I'll do this one. Get rid of that one. You don't have to do much. The roots should form out of that, and they'll also form out of any buds that are there. Okay, uh, I need a rock. I'll be right back. Yeah, I got a couple of rocks here. What, basically, what I'm doing is I'm just putting them up like that, hold them in place. Now, I'm a little drink of water. Now, that should. Uh, by the fall, the roots should be established. I'll be able to come out and uh, snip them off, then transplant them into pots. And that way I have a control of a blueberry plant, right? Which is what I want, and I'll be able to build them up to whatever I desire. And uh, I did these here last week. Uh, in, a, in a different method, right? But all I used is an open container there. But come on up and we'll take a look at what I've done with the strawberries. Yeah, I'm ready. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm back. Oh, this is just an extension of the blueberry video. Uh, well, five years ago, I bought some commercial blueberries and I planted them over there. And uh, they grew quite nice our commercial strawberries actually and they grew quite nice and we had a dog Strider and 
Every morning he'd come out and he'd run to the strawberries and he'd start scarfing them down. <laughs> we, we got like two strawberries and he got them all. Anyway, he'd go poop. Strawberries, he, uh, what must have happened, he, he pooped. Strawberry seeds went through, they took. Uh, and there's commercial strawberries. And I don't know what variety they are, but they're here, here, over there. I discovered them when I was doing grass there last week. Cutting so, the grass for the first time in five years. Cutting the grass for the first time in five years. So anyway, I noticed there was a lot of runners. Okay, so what I've done here, I've captured the runners using uh, containers, right? And uh, these are old milk, these are, uh, you know, the two liter uh, milk containers. I never threw any of them away. I got hundreds of them and I got them for that purpose. And I've, I'm capturing the runners and uh, then I'm going to propagate the, <coughs> then I'm going to put them in a bed. So I've got this little lot here. And what's interesting is we've got this we got this spot here and it's like all around it, right? There's strawberries. So we figure this was an original spot where he did his business and then the the, the runners just started moving. And uh, so I've got more here and as you can see. What I've done is I've taken some of these containers and cut them down to size. You can do this with a standard milk crate, the bottom end, and you can kept capture strawberries or whatever you want to kept capture, right? Now they'll all take and then I'll transplant them into larger pots and then I will also capture the runners that come off of them. And there I used one of the gallon milk jugs. I cut it and I, I used the hole here to hold it down because it was quite long, right? You know, the spout hole, right? And, uh, but anyway, that's me propagating strawberries and blueberries. And uh, if you know where there's wild blueberries, you can do this. It's quite easy to do, uh, as you can see. And uh, you can either use an open container like I've done here or you can use the the top because I you know I've got all you know you use a, a, a juice a, a container or a milk container and you cut the bottom out and then you got the other part and you figure well what do I do with that right and instead of it going out to the garbage you use it to plant stuff in and uh, eventually it'll rot away and you can put it in your compost pile I guess I, I don't know I'm not gonna put it in the compost pile. Uh, that doesn't uh, suit me all that good. Because uh, I got, you know, there's dyes in the ink and stuff, but uh, the plastic ones, they will eventually go in the garbage. But, uh, or reuse them. Or, or, oh yeah, I reuse them until they break down. They do eventually break down in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the sun will break them down. But uh, the strawberries, I mean, there's even a there's even a few over here, right? Um, I was actually able to save this one here. And I think I can save this one. I'm going to give it a few days, see how it comes out. But this was a mass of uh, blackberry brambles, which we have in abundance here. Um, and they don't produce a lot because they're way overgrown and stuff like that. And I got some blueberries here that and uh, there's actually some strawberries in that too but I'm going to clean this all up and then I'm going to put the uh, uh, the mulch around it from the woods I, I just go in I'm, I'm using uh, uh, tree bark from splittings and, and stuff like that and I also find that the the, uh, uh, the, the I found some really good places in the woods there that there's a real good pile of litter tree litter uh, and it's mulched down really quite nice. But anyway, that's my take on propagating these. Uh, 
I'll let you all know in the fall how the strawberry or how the blueberries did. But we probably won't know. Well, it, it'll be next year before uh, we we see any substantial growth in it. And blueberries do grow slow. So, um, but I did want to get some in pots. Um, you know, because I can really work on the soil and get them all the nutrients they want and get them nice and bushy and, and uh, control that. And, uh, no, I'm not a control freak, but for that I think that's a good idea. Um, when I lived in the city, I wish I had a, had access to the blueberries. I probably would have done this uh, a long time ago. but. Uh, Straw I, I dug up some strawberry plants today and uh, that were over here and I transplanted them into pots and they should take off and there's even runners off them right um, I transplanted here look I'm gonna runner off of here I can capture and there's two, well there's actually two that I can capture off of this one and here's another one I can capture that and uh, if you notice I put straw in it as a mulch well actually lawn clippings but I mean that'll work and uh, uh, you know when I, that started with one plant over in that corner there and at one point we had about 20 plants from that one plant from the runners. It took a year, year and a half or whatever it was. Yeah, three years ago when we had Strider there was berries everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You, you, Way you, more you, than we could eat so yeah. I didn't mind him going out every morning and gorging himself. Yeah, he would go out, the, you know, like I mean we had, the, there was a bed about seven or eight feet long, about that wide, and it was just loaded. But the thing was is that from one plant it ended up 20 plants. 25 plants. I, don't, I, I really don't know the total number. It got overgrown because of, I got busy doing some other things and I didn't uh, take care of it. But then these cropped up. So for every plant you have potential. If you if you do the math, I mean the, it, the potential for strawberries is just unbelievable. I mean you get one plant, you put it in a pot and you can draw as many suckers off that as you want and you can have 50 or a hundred uh, uh, plants so, you know ultimately you know if you're you know if you, you exponential exponential numbers I mean if, like if I lived in the city with the lot that I had which wasn't that big but it was a uh, uh, you know I had 40 by about 120 right I mean I could have had a business whether selling the strawberries or selling the plants I mean it would have been fantastic uh, but if you live in the city I mean you can you can produce now I want to produce a lot of strawberries because I like strawberries I like strawberry jam right and uh, 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 you can and I also dry strawberries so you can dry them you can make them you can you can make them into jams and jellies and the more you have right the more you have and uh, you can also freeze them so uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a strawberries are a great thing to have anyway that's my take on uh, blueberries and oh yeah and, I, and like I said I want to increase my blueberries I've been invited up to uh, layer a bunch of commercial uh, blueberries uh, on a property that uh, 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 Shadow Sister lives on and there's a bunch of the the, the commercial uh, blueberries and there's also oh this is something else I did I got some cuttings I don't know how they're gonna do but these are from um, high bush cranberry All right and, and there's the bottoms of the those containers just punch some holes in them for drainage and uh, then the tops you can use for layering projects All right. But uh, that's it. Uh, Till the next time.